John 64. As opposed to John 32. Thank you. Well, when we when we port him to the Nintendo 64, that's what he's going to be called. Right now, he's just Super John. <laughs> now he had 64 health, so. Whoa. And that, oh, magic. Did you teleport? Yeah. Well, I guess I guess John hit a trigger. It's weird. I did. That. Yeah, they there was some technical limitation that this they couldn't like overcome, so they had to do force teleports or something. I can't remember. I was actually a beta tester um, for the free to play, or not free to play, but like the the free standalone version of uh, Spin Co-op. So I got to play with the devs. That was pretty cool. Don't underestimate my brother Fu. With backup bullets. Umbrella food? Mmm. Umbrella foo. The best food to eat on a rainy day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, They're coming no. out of the walls. I mean, the walls are like tombs, so it's not that surprising, all things considered, but oh my gosh. They're coming out of the walls. Stop dancing. Ah, dude smacked me. Ow. Ooh, how did he see me? He doesn't have a head. Ooh. Thanks, bro. Thank you. Tactical patty cake. Tactical patty cake. With the needles, though, it's, it's kind of dangerous. Uh, I mean, like, you know, I was around in the late 80s. I remember all the drunk PSAs. This is your brain. This is your I remember. brain on drugs. Any questions? Actually, yes. Lots of them. <laughs> they hunger. They hungry. Look at this guy. Ugh. What's up with him? Ow. Dude, punch is pretty well for being like an emaciated... Something. No muscle man. Ew. This guy looks like the Joker. After or before he ripped his face off? Uh, kind of right in the middle. During the process of? Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, I almost made it. Oh, I said I hurt myself real bad. Ow. Yeesh. Where are you? Technical patty cake. There you know, I'm, I'm beginning to think maybe this place isn't up to code. Probably not. Should Unless get it's OSHA involved. Did we have to, like, sign a waiver <laughs> just before we enter this town? <laughs> I'd like to see that waiver. I'd like my lawyer to see that waiver. Also, I'd like to have a lawyer. Just on retainer all the time? At all times, yeah, because clearly I need one. I'm dealing with this all the time. I mean, you'd really be surprised the legal difficulties you get into in fighting the undead. <laughs> I can only imagine. I'm glad this 1911 works underwater. That's very handy. Ooh, spooky umbrella. I mean, why did HK even need to design that underwater pistol? They should just use the 1911. Politics, probably. Or money, you know. Yeah. Ah! He got me. Oh, I found the rest of them. Well, that yeah, was it's disturbing. Not to do that. I don't. I don't think. I don't think that's supposed to do that. Like, I mean, how, many, how often do you go to like a a nice hotel and you push the button for the elevator and then just like a bunch of guts come down? I mean, that's enough. That's enough to like knock it down a whole star, if you ask me. 
down from uh, five stars. Yeah, to like a four, maybe like a four and a half. I guess, I mean, it really depends on like how nice the towels are. See, that's the best part about hotels is the towels, like the big, thick, white, fluffy towels. Oh yeah. If hotels they, don't have those, it's just, it's sad. It what's hurts. what's even the point? Like, might as well just go sleep on the street. I think I went the wrong way. Uh, but what is the right way? Good question, oh, Mr. Spock. Asking these oh, deep there it philosophical is. Found it. questions. Wait, did I go the wrong way? Or it's under a tunnel. I'm confused. There's another, like, awkward tunnel. Oh, right, right. Awkward tunnel. Gotcha. Technical term. I feel ya. Oh, and all the zombies. John found all the zombies. That's what he does, man. That's, he's like a pro. <laughs> wow, what do you call that maneuver? The, like, backwards flying umbrella swing. Semi-amphibious assault the Navy SEALs taught me. Oh, very good. Very good. I see. I can tell you're, you're a professional. Wow, John. You're almost dead, bro. You're messed up. It's a good thing you're dressed as a priest. You can grant yourself last rites. Is that's that how like, that works? I don't know. That's like the best part about being a priest. Got a pretty sweet mustache too, I gotta say. Oh, thank you. Anytime. I'm always there to, like, overhand grip, stab a needle into you repeatedly. <laughs> With unknown green liquid inside? That's right. It's... clearly it's health juice. I make it myself. It's kale mixed with the stuff inside of a glow stick. Sounds nutritious. And delicious, except for not at all delicious. I've actually heard that kale is not actually that good for you. Is it not? I don't even know what it tastes like, to be fair. Yeah, apparently there's something in it that's kind of like lettuce that messes with your metabolism. You know, like, every year, the foods that were healthy last year are no longer healthy. Like, if you listen, if you pay attention to all that, it's like eggs. It's like eggs are, like, really good for you, and then they're really bad for you, and then they're really good for you again. I can't keep up. So I just eat all the eggs. It's probably not worth keeping up. Oh hell yeah, I got a wrench shovel. Yeah, I really like the shovel. It's one of my preferred weapons in this game, honestly. Yeah. And there's a blood laser coming out of the roof. Yeah, you don't want to get hit by that. Pew 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 pew! Rebel scum. Whoa! Ow. Ow. Hey, this guy is... This guy is tough. Jeez. Patty cake success. Ah! Oh, that's oh, a rat. Run! Uh, I'm running. Run! I'm running. Rats. Did he die? I think he died. On the coal pile. Oh. Now he died. Splendid. That really hurt. I always forget about that rat. I've played this like 50 million times, and I always forget about that rat. I think he's supposed to be difficult to, to notice. Oh, hi, John. Oh, hi. Hmm. Did you already kill the fuse box, John? Ow. Yeah. It shocked me. I don't think it's supposed to do that. <laughs> it's definitely not OSHA compliant. I mean, can you imagine, you go to turn off your fuse box and it shocks you, that's just like, what's the point? 
I'd like to point out that that's like a, a portrait of Vlad the Impaler, I think. Is that yeah. who that is? I think so. Vlad the Impala. He was a car? <laughs> wow, that really changes my view of history, you know? He still is. Vlad the Impala. To this very day. I think that just leads to the furnace. To the coal pile, yeah. This is where we want to be right here. I was wrong. <laughs> this is where we want to be back here. There we go. Yeah, this is... Oh, oh look. God, you're normal. Do you know what those things outside are? Mexican. John's in his rightful place. <laughs> yeah, John's gonna give a sermon about Wait, shovels. I think I hear a vehicle coming. It's very informative. Being rescued. Oh jeez. Umbrellas. And cars. Oh man, that guy hates sermons. Damn. Well, I. Oh, there's rats. Oh, there's rats. You're clear of the rats. I think they both exploded. Thank you. There were three of them. Oh. And I am mistaken. Whoa! Damn. That was awesome. Did that zombie have reactive armor? What happened? I, I don't know. Get a map change here. Ooh. Ooh, spooky! It's even in Halloween colors. The spookiest of holidays.